In this video, we will demonstrate a typical nutrition assessment in the acute care setting. The dietitian may come in? Yes, you can. Hi, I'm Catherine and one of the dietitians here at Cratert. If I could have you confirm your full name and date of birth, please. Sure, my name is Jane Doe and my birth date is January 1st, 1996. Okay, thank you. When you were in the intensive care unit, we started tube feeding or what's otherwise known as enteral nutrition uh, while you were not able to eat by mouth. And that tube feeding provided your body the nutrients it needed. And it's currently running through that tube in your nose until you're able to, to eat enough, we plan to keep the tube feeding running. To give me an idea of what you normally drink and eat, can we run through what a typical day is like for you? Sure. Um, I usually eat breakfast in the morning around six o'clock, and that's usually um, cereal or some eggs. Okay, any milk on your cereal? Uh, yes, usually 2%. And anything that you add to your eggs? Um, I usually just put salt and pepper on my eggs. Okay. And anything to drink with your breakfast? I'll usually have a cup or two of coffee in the morning. Then would you add anything to your coffee, like sugar or cream? Um, I'll usually put about a teaspoon of sugar in my coffee, but no creamer. When is the next time that you would eat uh, be during the day? Um, I'm very busy during the day, so I usually don't eat until dinner again. Okay, and what would a typical dinner be for you? Um, I'll usually have some kind of meat, like chicken or beef, and then I'll make a potato and a vegetable like corn or beans. Okay, compared to the size of a deck of cards, how big would you say your serving of beef or chicken would be? Um, probably half of a deck of cards, about. Okay. And Sometimes you, more. Do you usually finish uh, the food on your plate? Um, usually, but lately I haven't been eating too well. Okay, how long has that been going on? I would say about two weeks since I that's about the time I haven't felt too well. Okay. And did you have any snacks between meals or at nighttime? Um, sometimes at night I'll snack on some chips or um, a couple scoops of, scoops of ice cream. And would that be a frozen yogurt or a lower fat ice cream or more like a premium ice cream? I usually do frozen yogurt because regular ice cream makes my stomach upset. Are there any um, other types of dairy products that you that you can tolerate like cheese or yogurt yes cheese and yogurt are okay but milk upsets my stomach okay thank you and with for the chips how much would you usually have I try to do about a cup of chips a day or when I have my snacks sometimes I'll have more okay and any um, beverages that you drink with your dinner or throughout the day um, I'll usually have a diet soda do you take any dietary supplements normally? Um, sometimes I'll take a multivitamin, but I forget sometimes. Um, otherwise, I just started taking vitamin D. Were you prescribed the vitamin D by a healthcare provider? Yes, my doctor. And what dose do you take? I think the bottle says 2,000 units. Okay. And for the multivitamin, is there a specific brand that you use, or is it more of a general adult multivitamin? It's just a general adult multivitamin. Do you have any food allergies? No food allergies, just the, my, the stomach upset okay. when I eat dairy. Uh, we, we talked about the changes in your appetite and this information is good to know. Did you experience any weight loss before coming to the hospital? Um, I would say about five to seven pounds over the past month or so. And do you know why you lost the seven pounds? Um, I think it's because I haven't been eating as well as I normally have and I haven't been moving around too much. Okay. Compared to what you normally eat, how much less would you say that you have been eating? 25%, 50%, 75%? Um, I would say about 50% less okay. than I normally do. Thank you. And that could be why you lost the weight. And now that I've had a chance to learn more about your intake and weight history, I'd like to do a head-to-toe exam to check for signs of fat and muscle depletion. 
I'll start with your head and face and move down to your shoulders, arms, and hands, and then your torso and legs. Are there any areas that you're having pain that you'd like me to avoid? No. Okay. I'll also be looking at your hair, eyes, skin, and nails to check for signs of vitamin or mineral deficiencies. Okay. All right. Are you fine with me doing the exam then? Yes. Okay. We'll get started. Just going to get some gloves on here. Have you noticed any changes to your hair or scalp lately? Um, sometimes it gets dry in the winter time. Okay. Any hair loss? No. Okay. I'll just take a look here. Here. Okay, and I'll move down to your eyes. Any vision changes? No. Okay, I'll have you follow my finger with your eyes. And back this way. And if you can pull your lower lids down so I can see your color. Good, thank you. And looking at your mouth, if you can open wide and stick out your tongue for me. Okay, thank you. Any bleeding gums or mouth sores? No. Any taste changes? No. Okay, if, if you can smile big so I can see all your teeth. Okay, thank you. Any chewing or swallowing difficulty? No. Okay, if you can bring your lower lip down so I can get a better look at your gums. Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to move to some of the muscles in your face. So I'll warm my hands up here and if you can clench your jaw. Okay, and you can relax. Thank you. Moving under your eye here. And to your cheeks. Okay. And moving down to your shoulder. I'll, I see you have a central line here. I'll be careful to work around that. Okay. And are there any particular areas that you notice that you lost the weight? Um, usually in my shoulders and my legs, I've noticed. Okay. Okay, I'll have you bend your arm up at 90 degrees, please. Thank you. And if you can extend your arm and bend back up again, please. Thank you. Okay. And then moving down to your hand, if you can pinch your thumb and finger together. Great. You can relax. Okay. And any changes to your nails recently? Um, I noticed I had a dark line on one of them. Okay, any recent injuries? Um, I did slam it in a door a little while ago. Okay, all right, thank you. Forget. And any changes to your skin? It's been pretty dry lately. Is that typical for you this time of year? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Now I'm going to take a look at your back. I'll just move this tray table out of the way. Okay, if I can have you extend my, your hand and push against me. Thank you. Okay, you can relax. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can sit back. And then I'll have you um, I'll look here for your hip bone and your ribs. Okay. And if I can have you bend your knee up a little bit, that's perfect. And you said your legs are thinner than usual. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me turn off this machine here. Okay. And if you can bend your knee up a bit for me, please. And you can push your toes against my hand. Okay. And then if you can move your arm or your foot up and down like you're pushing on the gas pedal. Thank you. Okay, you can relax that leg. I'll move to your left leg here. Take off this FCD. So if you can bend your knee up slightly. Okay. 
And then if you can, use your toes to push against my hand. And if you can, move your foot up and down like you're pushing on the gas pedal. Okay, great. Thank you. Have you noticed any swelling in your feet or ankles lately? No, I haven't. I just need to put these back on. Okay, and I'll turn this back on. Now I just need to look at your left upper body. Okay. Just looking at your shoulder here. And your chest. And I know you have that blood pressure cuff on, but as best as you can, if you can bend your arm up at 90 degrees, we'll see what we can get to. And if you can extend your arm and bend back up. Thank you. Okay. And just need to look at your hand here with that pulse ox on. It can be a little tricky, but if you can uh, pinch your thumb and finger together, great. You can relax now. And just checking hydration. Okay, now feeling by your ribs. And I know your gown is here, that's okay. I'll feel through your gown by your hip bone. Okay, thank you. So based on your exam, it's important we talk about increasing your food intake. Um, tell me what you had for breakfast today. Um, so far today, I had a piece of toast and eggs. Okay, that's a great start. Uh, did you put butter on your toast? Yes, I did. Okay, and anything on your egg? Um, just salt and pepper. Okay. So you could add either butter um, on top of your egg just to boost the calories or even shredded cheese. What do you plan to order for lunch? I'm not very hungry. I don't think I'm going to order lunch. Well, what are some of your favorite foods? Let's see if we can pique your interest. Um, I like egg salad, bananas, and chips. Okay, those are great lunch options. In order to add more calories, would you be open to having your egg salad on bread? Yes, I can do that. Okay, and how about adding some peanut butter to your banana? I would try that today. We do carry nutrition supplement drinks, which help patients get in more calories and protein. I think that would be a good idea for you to drink one to two a day. We have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, is that something that you'd be willing to try? Sure, I like strawberry flavored things. Okay. Perfect, the nurse is going to keep track of what you're eating so we can evaluate your meals and your intake to see how it matches compared to your calorie and protein goals. This is called the calorie count. And once you're consistently eating more than 75%, we can discuss stopping your tube feeding. Yes, that would be great. I really want this tube out of my nose. Well, thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. Before I leave, I'm just going to check your feeding pump to see how much of the formula you've been getting. Okay, so I'll just pause this. On this particular pump, we can get a pump history by holding the feedings, pressing the history, and then using these buttons to toggle through the tens digit up to 72 hours and the units digit. And then that 1346 milliliters is the amount that the patient has received of the formula over the last 72 hours. 
After you have that number, you can hit done and then make sure to restart the feedings if they have been on continuous feeds. And this can tell me up to 72 hours of the milliliters of formula that you received. Okay. We restart you. Okay, I'll just get your tray table back. And here's your call light in case you need your nurse. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you for spending some time with us today to learn more about completing a nutrition assessment in the hospital.